With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Students, in this question, we are going to look after which of the following cardinals will have strongest CO bond. So basically, I want to tell you that CO in the normal case is going to have this type of bond. So let's work upon the following complexes where they have given. So if I calculate the oxidation state of central atom, so this is going to be carbonyl is neutral ligand, so 0. So x I have taken 0 multiplied by 6 because of neutral ligand and will be equivalent to overall charge of minus 1. So we have found value of x turns out to be minus 1. That means over here vanadium is present with negative charge. So this is how we represent it. Similarly you can work over here carbonyl is neutral ligand so 0 multiplied by 5 and equivalent to overall charge not given so we assume it to be 0. So oxidation state of our iron come out to be 0 only. So this is present in ground state. Similarly you can work for the magnesium as well. So this is also neutral ligand so 0 multiplied by 6 and overall charge is positive of 1. So value turns out to be positive 1. That means magnesium is present in positive oxidation state and then we have chromium we can take oxidation state x then carbonyl is neutral again 0 multiplied by 6 and overall charge not given so we assume it to be 0 so this turns out to be again in ground state so this chromium is also present in ground state now I want to tell you that the bond length is going to be strongest where there is going to be lowest synergic bonding or back bonding so for that understand the synergic bonding phenomena so we are having metal and the ligand is coming to make a coordinate bond. So this is the sigma bond basically formed. Now the orbitals present in the metal are going to have electrons, some electrons. So they are going to overlap sidewise with the anti bonding set of orbitals that is being present in the ligands. So this type of bonding generation is known as the synergic bonding or the back bonding. And what happens? The larger is going to be the extent of this back bonding, small, smaller will be our corresponding this bond because this will got weaken and this will strengthen so if synergic bonding is going to be more this mc bond is going to be of more strength and correspondingly co bond is going to be of low strength but in question we were asked of what we need to find for the strongest co bond so strongest co bond will be in that case where we are going to have minimum synergic bonding so let's search for the complexes where which are going to show minimum synergic bonding so it's going to be our MN positive. Why? Because positive shine shows that it's going to have electrons not available. So if electrons are not available or less available, they are not going to do synergic bonding. So this that's the very simple reason. So option C is the correct choice, which is going to have least synergic bonding and strongest CO bond. While in other cases, this negative charge is present. So if we are going to take negative charge, then it's going to easily show synergic bonding. In ground state also, D electrons are consisting of ele electrons freely available. So they are going to undergo synergic bonding. Here also chromium will undergo synergic bonding. So this is the answer. Option C, correct. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.